So guys, I just got on the bus. Now I'm still recording. We're at the same place. Um, my phone got shut off when I spoke to the bus driver. Turn it back on. We're continuing still at the same time. It's 11.15 or something on a Sunday. There should be really anybody on the bus, really anybody on the street now at this time, especially in this area. Ask anybody who lives in this area. This is Victoria Park in Shepherd in Toronto on a Sunday, April, no, May the 12th, 2019. It's mad. It's crazy. I should have barely seen maybe 10 people today the whole time I filmed. And about, you know, we saw mail trucks, fire trucks, ambulances, cops. Um, I don't know, 10,000 cars, about a thousand people. Uh, every one of them moving with bags and, and going nuts and running and, and as if it's this rush hour, busy time where they have to get to a place so on time kind of thing. And, you know, well, you, you see. So now I ask myself this question, you know. This is Satan in his purest form because that's how you nail people in you know, in secret, sort of visible, but in, you know, hidden, but in plain view. So, why? Who am I? Why am I such a threat to get out there into the real world and live a normal life just like everybody else? I never really ask for anything more. Why doesn't he want me to do that? Why does he want to bury me now in this cave? that he created for me for so long now that I wake up and see the reality of it why don't they want me out of it why do they want to bury me in it it makes you really think about yourself and who you are and how important you are Next you may have a, a something to offer to this world that he doesn't like why else would it be done to you why spending all this money all this energy all that manpower fill up the streets the houses with people standing outside guys people that are watching my videos for the first time please don't think i'm nuts watch my other videos so you know what i'm talking about is true okay i'm always surrounded with this madness everywhere i go things clogging up my view people moving noises it's just mad today on a sunday you should see barely anybody on the street especially in this area you know, so look at what I encounter in my view. People come and open trunks. People come out of places, go into places. All the, everything happens as I get there. You gotta notice that in my view. So it's the microchip that these people follow and try to pretty much do this to me everywhere I go. So I'm always miserable. Guys, this is a science to depress. If you do that to somebody, there's always things moving in his face and people talking around him the whole time you get depressed because they're all stressors, all right? So, now I ask myself, why would the government want to do this to me? Because this is government work, obviously. You know, nobody has the power to do all this in the city and flip the people inside the stores you go to, put their own people in there so they treat you badly. You know, they treat you like normal people would. And obviously, it's a big operation. No. The question is, why me? Who am I? Why am I such a threat? That he doesn't want me to come out there and live normal just like everybody else. Why? Nobody sells flour on a day like today, guys. It's freezing out here. It's not even worth sitting outside and making the money. Those guys come in summertime and they do this charade here. It's also a part of this government thing. You know, all these things that are laid out outside, they're all a part of this sort of madness. But that's the question. Why me? Who am I? Why am I such a threat to get out there and live a normal life, not be bothered, not bother anybody? Why aren't I allowed to do that in this country? Those are the questions that arise, you know? So listen, just an annoying conversation has to take place everywhere I go, can't have peace, that's part of their job. I'm pretty sure if you can interpret this you realize it's, they're talking about the color red or something stupid for an hour. 
this irritance that they sent for me not to be able to even sit in a bus for five minutes in peace. And you can tell it's the way they're moving, the way they're dressed, the way they look. They play the part of the irritants, you know. Now I could have walked into any place and have people talking, it's okay, it's a normal thing. But it's the way they're doing it that you can tell. You know, it's very provocative, it's done towards to sort of, you know, take you down. So, again, we go back to that. I ask myself, why? Why aren't I allowed to live a normal life, get out there and do the normal things? Why? Why am I such a threat? be left alone why are they so worried why are they trying to keep me in the cave and bury me in the cave now why why would they do that look at the manpower look at the amount of money spent here the cars the people it's insane I and mean, this is at least we're talking millions a day it's mad today's Sunday yeah, this bus you did, maybe there should be on it one person nobody takes the bus today at this time the amount of cars you see on the street around me, it's mad. It's just ludicrous. So, that's what you have to ask yourself, why me? You know, who am I? Why am I such a threat? See how quiet it is here? That's how it's supposed to be today, guys. On a Sunday. See how prepped that area was that I went to? With all this busyness. Where did all these people come from over there? Because it's prepped. It's my microchip. They know I go to the corner in the morning to the pharmacy over there. How come this place ain't busy with 10,000 people walking around with bags? It's the same thing. We're, in, we're still in the same area. There's a grocery store over there, too. Just want two lights down. How come? Only over there in my area. Now you're getting to see at least more proof of everything. The madness that I go through. Now, a lot of people say ignore them. Well, I try. The problem is they don't just do this to me. They attack every aspect of your life. They don't allow you to get a job. Everywhere you apply, they get them not to hire you. I don't know what influence they have. I don't know how they do that. It's the government you're talking about here. Um, what else? Everything, everything. They have influence to turn your life into a living nightmare. And they do. And it's illegal, all of it. They talk about freedom and laws, bullshit. No such thing, guys. It's is all illegal that's being done to me. This is harassment. This is major harassment. These amount of cars flying by me all day long in the right lane. Nobody drives in the light, right lane. Look how, f how fast they're going. They know it's a red light coming. So this is harassment. It's a huge form of it. Look at that one, how she's still harassing me in my way as I'm walking. The one that got off the bus with me. Look. Look how she's still harassing me. Nobody goes through this way, guys. Nobody. Look at this piece of shit. All these guys coming with the bicycles. I'm sorry, guys, to call them that, but they are, okay? If I wasn't 100% sure, I would not call anybody this. All these guys. Another piece of shit. Look at his face. He looks like a piece of shit. Just the lowest, scummiest view. Look at this place. There's nobody in it. How come? How come there are no people here? Look. There's a big, huge no frills there. There's a plaza, a whole bunch of stores. How come? How come that area was loaded? Because they're not prepared to come here yet. They didn't know I was going to come here. Look, that's how it's supposed to be on Sunday, guys. Everything's closed for God's sakes almost. 
Anyways, I'm gonna go into this building. Look, as soon as I go into this building, a car goes into this building. Look, look, look. Look. Look, this area, there's no one here. How come? Because that's how it's supposed to be. That's how it is on Sundays. See? Nobody. Look. Barely any people. And even these people are stalkers. They just got here late. That's how it's supposed to look. I get here, a car comes out. That's the same asshole that went in or someone else, maybe. Look. That's how these stalkers work. Look at them. That there's cars heading towards you everywhere you go. Look. It's all illegal, guys. All of it. What they're doing. And that's the government doing this to me. Canada. They talk about freedom. And human rights. That's what they do to people they don't like. I haven't done anything wrong. I don't even have a criminal record. Just so you know. They even train the birds to bug you. I told you guys. I know it sounds crazy, but it's not. Look at those two red ones over there. I don't know what kind of birds they are. To move around and... That doesn't bother me. I don't even like to mention that. That's how Sundays are, guys. There should be nobody around. But they didn't expect me to come here. Just on the corner over there. to come and open for me here here nobody comes and stalks me because they want me to be stuck down here for a while and believe it or not they give all my family they work for them all of them this is my uncle's building he won't answer right now he should be answering he sits right by the phone on a sunday at this time he's always by the phone he's not sleeping at this time he's not out of the house i know it for a fact would they fuck around with you they make sure your day becomes miserable Everywhere you go, nothing works out for you. Hello. Da. Okay, good. Fine. I'll be. I'll be in touch with you guys. Um, let's see what's going on now. Here, I'm not gonna get stuck much. They're not prepared for it. It's still quiet. That's how it's supposed to be. On Sundays. What I saw down at that intersection was just madness. They were prepared just to swarm me. And they got a revenue agency. You see, people got their checks. I didn't. Why? So they even play around with things like that. Anyways, guys, I need to record now. I'll be in touch with you soon. It's about 11.30 now. Bye.